Okay, so today uh, let's look into this exceptional aggregation at a query level. So let's try to understand this concept with a simple example. So to uh, the simple example, what I'm taking is I have a DSO in my BW system. So this DSO contains total five records. So I taken this. Let's consider this is a sales data. Okay, and each record is one one uh, document number. So I had taken two records from January month, and I taken two more records from February month. One record from the March month. So the materials where I'm using are M1, M2. So on the quantity work column for M1 quantity, so this particular person purchased ten quantity with M with price ten, okay, ten dollars. On February month, the same M1 material, the price quantity fifteen, but the price was increased to fifteen dollars. Okay, uh, on January month it is ten dollars. On February month it is fifteen dollars. On March month again the price will be same. It was not increased. Okay, uh, con coming to M two on M two material cost on January month was fifty dollars. On February month it was increased to sixty dollars. So this was the data set which I taken. Okay, now I want I'm creating a query a box query on top of this data set. So I created a query already. On the query side, what I did here, uh, let me do this. Uh, machine. Okay, so I am taking date field and material on the row section, and quantity and price on the column on the key figure section, and I created one KPI, which is amount column, which is a multiplication of quantity and price. Okay, and I am as of now I am hiding the other KPI too. We will come to this topic later point. I am saving this query. Now let me execute this query in the analysis for office. So I'm going here. I'm trying to execute this query. Okay. I don't know what happened. Let me reopen one more time. Select this. Okay, so I got the query. So if you see, the, I have two records on January month, M1, M2, and this is the quantity, this is the price, and this is the amount value, which is nothing but a, uh, some multiplication of quantity into price. I am getting the amount value. Okay, for M2, uh, similarly for February month also for uh, M1 quantity, M2 quantity, M3. So to get the totals. Okay, to get the totals of at created on level, select I'm selecting created on and selecting show totals. Okay, now good. So now what exactly we are learning about is exception aggregation. Now I am copying the same query. I'm copying this query and uh, you know pasting below to it by using smart copy and smart paste. Now I am removing created on from the row section. So what happened here? So when I remove created on from the rows. The total of material quantity was summed up. Like uh, here we have M110 and we have M125 and here we have M110. So total the material quantity was summed up to 35. And because of the aggregation behavior on each KPA, even the cost also got summed up. But it is not correct, right? Generally, cost never be summed up in this way because you know uh, if if this column is at price level, definitely we need to look at media at a month level or you know date level. But due to the ag aggregation behavior, price was sum up. And when coming to this KPI, you see now what happened? 35 into 40. So which is a wrong calculation, right? So this is not the expected value. 35 into 40 happened now means 35 quantity of material M1 multiplied with 40. Generally, the cost of this material is not 40. Okay, I have to see at this each month level. So whatever value we got is this particular value got calculated at a row level because it is a formula variable with a formula quantity into price because of the aggregation simply it applied my formula on these two um, values, which is not the expected output. The, what is the expected output here? So on January month, my M1 back amount was 100. On February month, it is 225, and on March month, it is 150. So the expected value here is 475. 475, because the my requirement is to sum up all the amounts on each month, and then get the overall amount 
for this M1 material, which is 475. But due to this, uh, you know, behavior of formula variable at aggregated level, I am getting wrong value. Similarly, same thing happening for M2 also. For M2, the quantity is 750 on January month and 1200 on February month. The overall sum is 1950. But due to the formula which we defined, which is quantity into price, it, the formula was applying on the aggregated value 35 into 110. I am getting this value. Okay. So, which is so the whatever total also you see total is matching with my above report. But if I do total of above two, it is 5250. But what I am getting here is wrong because on the result row also it is applying this formula on the result columns 70 into 150. I am getting 1000. So overall, this particular KPI one amount is giving completely wrong values when the data got aggregated at a material level. So how to handle this kind of scenario? Okay, because my requirement is I need the amount value on each line item level. It means for each at each document level, I need to perform this amount calculation. Then only I will get my value correctly. Because in my example, I taken one one document number. Maybe you cannot see much. Let me bring document number also into my row section. There won't be much difference here. Uh, you see, both got overlaid, uh, overlapped, right? Let's copy this and then try to insert here. Yeah. Now, so what happened? Nothing got much changed here. Uh, let me what happened here. Mm -hmm. Remove this height totals on this one. Okay, like this. Let's give total set document level. So, at a, if you see document level, in order to get the correct value 475, I need to perform my calculation at each document level because 100 plus, uh, you know, 225 plus 150, which is 475, I'm getting. So to handle this kind of scenarios, we use this exception aggregation. So on my query level, I created another KPI, which is KPI2. Okay, uh, I'm now I am enabling it to display property always show. I went to the aggregation. So the same formula I'm using quantity into amount price. Okay, now I'm going to aggregation tab. On the aggregation tab, I changed the exceptional aggregation from use standard aggregation to summation. So after that, I'm adding a reference characteristic as document number. Why I'm adding document number here? Because my formula must run at document level. For that reason, I am adding document number here. For example, in your case, if you want to run this formula to document number plus item level, then you can add one more item here. So SAP is saying up to five reference characteristics you can add here. Okay. So even though you are trying to aggregate data, whatever characteristics you are mentioning on this, you know, uh, exception aggregation, the formula will be calculated at that particular level and then it will show here. So you will get to know in some time now. So now what I'm doing, I'm going to my second query on, let me try to reset this query. Okay, reset this query, let me try to reset. So go here, reset data source, and then uh, remove this uh, to one, uh, created on from this, you know, row section, and let me enable my KPI2 here. Filter by member, uh, here I'm enabling my KPI2. So if I enable my KPI2, you see, I am getting the expected value 475 and expected value 1950. It was calculating correctly. So how it was calculating correctly? Because for the KPI2, I defined my exception aggregation on some with summation property and on the doc, reference document number as document number level. So when whatever characteristic you are reference characteristic you are maintaining there, system will perform the calculation at that particular granularity and then it will perform the summation when it is showing at a report le uh, aggregated level okay so due to that reason i am getting 475 1950 here and the total also coming as expected 2425 okay so this is the benefit of uh, using exception aggregation and how exactly it works so just to conclude one more time exception whatever characteristics you maintain at aggregation level so the cal the formula will be applied at that granularity and then it will be shown as a sum, sum, sum up value will be shown on it at your report level. Okay, so that's all about this exception aggregation at query level. You can add up to five characteristics here. Okay, so I hope it is clear for you and what is the use of exception aggregation and if we don't use exception aggregation, what may be the uh, results, how wrong it may come. 
okay i hope you understand stop it